Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing great today. Appreciate those of you watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And today we're talking about the movie Tarot. I hope that's how you sp pronounce it. Uh, it's spelled Tarot. But uh, it's Tarot. And I know it's very bad because in the movie they specifically make fun of people who don't know how to pronounce the word and to tell you the, pr the correct pronunciation. But I watched it on a Saturday and this is a Wednesday so I don't remember. Uh, but you know, it's in the spelling. You guys can tell me in the comments. Uh, if I pronounce it right or not. Anyways, enough of that. Let's talk about this great movie, Tarot. This is very fantastic. I was wanting to see The Fall Guy. I like those adventure type of movies, you know. Uh, but it was my son's turn to pick the movie. So he picked this one. He loves those uh, kind of movies that are kind of like this. Spiritual villains uh, kind of stuff. Uh, so this movie is basically about a group of teenagers. Uh, I would say college students. Make them a little older. Uh they run out this big mansion that looks spooky as heck. Break into a room that has a lock on it, of course. Once you do that, everything's going to go downhill. They find these ancient cards. They read each other's fortune. Well, one lady, young lady, reads everybody's futures and stuff like that. And lo and behold, they start dying off by the la by the character of the card that she last drawed. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh um, but anyways, what I did enjoy was the character design of, uh, the monsters. I thought those were very well done. Uh, they were very spooky, I guess you could say, for a PG-13 PG movie. Um, the, everything is very cliche in this. Like, you want, if, like, uh, if you've seen one movie, you've seen them all type of thing. Like, every character, uh, didn't really bring anything new to this type of movie. Uh, the death scenes and stuff like that were not so really new. They're very well, uh, choreographed, I guess you could say. You really knew what was going to happen to these characters, especially once it starts to happen. Uh, you didn't really have any fake death. Well, I'm going to say, uh, when a character was meant to die, they died at that instant. Like, they didn't survive to another day. You know, they, they boom, uh, they died. The movie is very fast-paced. Like, the killing starts fairly early. Like, they get right into the curse and everything so you don't really have a lot of uh backstory which is good you know it's not very slow moving so like once they find the cards boom it starts to happen like people start to die left and right i was kind of surprised um like even though the movie's very cliche i was kind of surprised at the amount of uh people who died that was kind of surprising uh i'm not gonna give you a hint either way just like the deaths were kind of surprised to me uh if that's one thing that was kind of unusual about that, it was probably that, that the amount of people who died. Um, it wasn't very, and it wasn't like anything inventive. Like, they didn't try to reinvent the wheel here. It's just, uh, they just stuck to your tro your typical tropes of this kind of movie. Uh, so if you're like somebody my age, middle age, you're probably not going to enjoy it. I can see, you know, if you're like a teenager, because this is PG-13, a teenager might enjoy it because there might be something new to them. Uh, but if you're like a, uh, and I don't watch very many horrors, as you've seen on my, if you see my list of, uh, reviews I've done, I don't do very many horror movies. I'm not very uh, much of a horror fan, but I did watch them a lot in my youth. Um, like what you watch, uh, so somebody my age, you're going to find it kind of very cliche, kind of boring, uh, type of thing. Not very scary whatsoever. Uh, but for a teenager, it might be a little scary. There are some creepy parts in this movie. I would probably say if you're like ages 15, I don't know, 13 to 15, you might find it a little spooky. Um, and then, uh, they did do a very good job explaining how the cards got made, why they got made. Uh, so you could kind of get behind or understand where the main, uh, entire villain, I'm going to say villain because I can't, uh, came from on this and why they chose to make these cards. Uh, it's a little bit of an overkill though. I'm just saying, um, you didn't have to go that far, uh, person who made these cards. Uh, is there any characters that you like, enjoy, um, I guess you'll like the main character. Is that really, like, you know, all the characters were kind of bland, to be honest. Um, it's not like one character that really stands out. The two leads, they do a pretty good job. Uh, the acting is, is, is pretty good in this. I would say the acting is pretty good. Uh, it's just that the overall story kind of falters. Uh, if you uh, new to the channel, which I bet uh, about all of you are, 
usually I give three grades on these movies. Like, uh, highly recommend means it's fantastic. Recommend is your average movie, you know, and then recommend of caution. Not so good of a movie. I'm going to recommend it with caution, especially if you're somebody who's, who's like a horror fan. You like a lot of horrors. You're not going to like this at all. Uh, you're going to find it boring. But if you're a teenager, yeah, I'll recommend you might actually like this. It's probably more uh, geared or made for those type of, type of, uh, that age group for those teenagers. Like I said, 13, 15, 16-ish. You know, that age group will probably will enjoy this a lot more than adults. Uh, I guess it's like a young adult horror show overall. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, come back for some more, <laughs> more fun on this channel. Anyways, have a great day and uh, enjoy your day.